Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in for our second video. Really appreciate everyone who watched my very first video that I ever posted. And you guys gave me so many tips and feedback on things that you want me to go more in depth on. And one of those things was my base. I'm going to really dive in and give you my full foundation routine, concealer, everything. We're gonna do the full base and no eyeshadow. I'm gonna start out by once again, clipping my hair out of the way because this just isn't a vibe. This baby hair, I, it's gonna be the death of me. The death of me. Okay. So we have that clipped out of the way, then goodness holy. All right, so first and foremost, my skin is so dry. It is unbearable, it hurts even. It's peeling everywhere. I run a humidifier, I don't understand like what the heck is going on, but it's awful. Like all the moisturizer in America could not help me right now, okay? Just, it, it can't help, it cannot. So. For starters, this vitamin C and E and hyaluronic acid looks like this. Um, I got it on Amazon by True Skin, has really good reviews. I've been enjoying it. I'm about halfway through the bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and start out by putting that on my face. And I do this every morning. Um, I do vitamin C in the morning and I do retinol at night. I just started this month because I used to only just wash my face tone it and put a moisturizer on and call it a day. Next, I'm going in with the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Once again, it's the one that has the um, SPF 30 in it because if you use retinol at night, it's they say if you don't like use a moisturizer that has an SPF in it, as soon as you get like hit with the sun or anything, it kind of deactivates the retinol that you have. So this is what it looks like, okay? I got it on Amazon. I absolutely love it, okay? So I'm gonna take one pump and I'm gonna apply that. And you can just tell that it has the sunscreen in it. And I think because there's the sun, the SPF in it, that it allows my foundation to stick to it. I've noticed that it lasts longer. And the only difference is, because I used to use a moisturizer that didn't have SPF in it. And I, truly think that it's the SPF, I'm convinced, that's making the foundation stick longer. So I'm just gonna rub this in all over my face. Oh my gosh. I feel like my face just took a dive into a swimming pool. Oh, it's fantastic. <sighs> so dry. Like my face feels kind of tacky with it on. So maybe that's why it's sticking. I don't know, not a professional, okay? The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my foundation. I get a lot of questions about my foundation that I'm using. It is a drugstore makeup um, foundation. It's by L'Oreal. I cannot find it in the store anywhere, so I actually either order it on Amazon or I go to L'Oreal's website, and because I haven't been able to find it in the store, they do offer free shipping, but they will pull it from any stores that have it in the United States and ship it to you. So I usually order about four of them at a time just because I don't ever wanna run out. I actually prefer this foundation even over like Estee Lauder and things like that that I used to use in the past. And I think it's like, I don't know, 11, somewhere between 11 to $13, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible. It looks like this, the one with the red top. Okay. Sorry, the cap's kind of dirty, but it's the one with the red top. It says that it lasts 18 hours. It's the Advanced Never Fail Foundation. And the shade that I'm going in with is 603 and it's called Classic Ivory. I always take the cap off too. That's like another tip that I have. I literally, look at this. I unscrew, ignore my fingernail, my nail polish literally just came off. Um, but I literally unscrew the top like that and I just use it this way because it allows me to get the perfect little circle dots and I love it because I'm just all about dotting my foundation on and I can like shake it up while my fingers over it. I just highly recommend taking the top off. I'm not a fan of pumps and putting it on the back of my hand. I feel like that wastes so much foundation, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna go in just like last time and I just do like three rows. I put one on my temple, one on my eye, and one on the inner corner right there. And then I do two rows on the bottom, one row on my mustache. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. 
just putting, and I use a lot of foundation, I already know, but I need full coverage, okay? I am not someone who can have my skin exposed because you can like see all the little veins in my face because I'm so pale. So, next thing I'm doing is I'm taking a beauty blender. I also had another question about this. Do I wet my beauty blender? Yes, I do. I wet it, I wring it out real, real good. I take a paper towel and I like soak up the extra in the paper towel so it's not like soaking wet, it's just damp. I never, ever, 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 ever go in with a dry beauty blender. It does not spread the foundation and it comes out splotchy. It's just, it's not a vibe, okay? So I'm just gonna pounce this into the skin and I always start on the cheeks and I start lower just because this is your biggest surface area, essentially. And I do take it on my ears because if the wind blows, I don't want to have super red ears and a very pale face. And get a double chin. I bring it down the neck. You want to do that. I do it, yes, because I have this scar here that I want to cover, but you also want your neck to match your face, okay? You can see the difference over here versus over here. It's just, even the line down here, it just looks more smoother and it matches way better, okay? Same thing on this side, starting lower, working up toward the temple, and I push it a little bit into the hairline, okay? You can take a bristled brush and comb your hair afterwards, and it will take the foundation and blend it in with your hair, even if you have dark hair, okay? You have dark hair though, I do recommend being just a little bit more careful. And I do put it over my lips, like not the inside, obviously I don't wanna eat it, okay? But I will pull my lips together and put it on my lips because it helps my lipstick stick. And once again, just covering the neck area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work up here. I look up to the sky so that I can get really close inside my eye almost. And then I use a wiping motion over the top of the lid because I don't want any wrinkles on the lid up to the sky also doing the nose wiping motion on the eyelid and I am trying to like work a little bit quicker just because I've been talking and now it's starting to dry which we don't love for ourselves and we have to get very careful here by our baby hairs so I kind of pull those out of the way and really pull that back and once again I'm just pushing this into the hairline. And now I'm going over the whole face just to make sure everything is blended together. Another tip that I wanna give is when it comes to the side of the nose, you have to get into the crevice, okay? Take the tip of the, the beauty blender and open up your that area, <laughs> however you have to do it, whatever face you're gonna make, just do it. You do not wanna have like, where, like that, okay? That is awful, that's not cute. Get in there and, and get it, okay? And I take this and I just wipe over the lid because you're going to have creases. And before you powder your face, you want to make sure you got rid of all of the creases. And take your time blending this out, okay? That's another thing. You don't want to, like, move too quickly. You want to keep going over the face to make sure everything is blended. You've hit every single area and it's really pressed into your skin. So I'm just checking it out here. Had a crease in my chin. Gotta get all the creases, okay? Get them all under the nose. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And I'm gonna move on to concealer. I am, and yes, I got a new concealer. <laughs> I know I was I was really running ragged on that last one. Okay, so I'm using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral 12N. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now, if you're younger, do the triangle that a lot of YouTubers do. If you're older, okay, I'm talking in your 20s, 25, 30, up. Do not do the triangle, okay? What it does is it literally pulls your face down and you look so old, all right? We don't want this brightened. We want where we have all of our bags and everything from life doing us dirty. We want that brightened up, okay? 
So I'm gonna show you exactly like what I do. Wow, a lot of that came out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you. I take it and I literally just move it outwards like that. And then I do some over here because we want it pulled up, not pulled down. Okay, it looks like the little Amazon symbol. And then I run it on the top like that because we do want a brighter T-zone. And I'm gonna take it and go down the center of my nose. A little on the Cupid's bow. Some on the chin. And that's, that's pretty much everywhere that I'm gonna put concealer, okay? I start, I let this sit a little bit and I blend everything out, else out first. So I start with my Cupid's bow and I don't drag it down on my lips. I'm pushing it up toward the nose. Chin, I don't go past the crease in my chin to the lip. I keep it nice and low because this is a shadow that you're not gonna see, so you want this to be bright. And I also go back and forth this way, not just up and down because we want it all blended. Now for the nose, I'm taking the tip, put my finger in this area. You can tell I do that all the time. My beauty blender is broke there. Don't use the fat part because you just want to keep it right on the bridge of the nose. And then I work up into the forehead and I blend left to right. And then I start going like a sun ray like that to blend it up into the rest of the forehead. These baby hairs, I swear. Go find something else to do, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the eye area. Taking the tip, working into the corner, right by the tear duct, look up to the sky and go left to right. Now drag like this, almost like you're making a line, and then take whatever's left right there, and I put it on the lid, because I use that as my eyeshadow base. And then same thing, blend out the edges. See how much brighter that is, okay? Now I'm just taking this and I'm just wiping over the eyes because I have a lot of wrinkles. Nursing school was not kind to me. And now that I have that smoothed out, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my powder. I am using the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Translucent Powder. It looks like this. You can obviously tell I love it. There's like hardly any left. Don't worry, I have like four more. That's what it looks like, okay? I put it in the cap. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small brush that's like kind of tapered a little bit. This is the Morphe M438, and I'm gonna lightly dip in there, just taking about that much, and I'm gonna be putting this on the under eye first, because I want to set my eyes first, because you're obviously blinking and moving that part, and I'm gonna do the bottom and the top, this whole area, just to set it very quickly, I don't want to get wrinkles okay this powder is amazing you can just tell the difference already compared to the other side doing the same thing and just picking up small amounts it's really fine and setting this eye next I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush and I'm gonna set the t-zone pretty much anywhere that we applied that concealer that's what I'm setting setting your smile lines. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take a huge brush because this is gonna allow me to get the powder over the rest of the face very quickly, where if I use that little one, I would be sitting here for five hours. This is the Morphe E41, huge, massive, okay? Picking up a lot. So what I do is I take this back, not the cap, because this has like the holes, and I just tap like everything in there so that it's not as much. You can see that it's sitting on the top because we don't need that much, okay? We don't want to look dry. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the cheeks everywhere. And I'm going to drag it down too and get the neck where we put the foundation. And I'm picking up whatever was left in the this thing, the sifter, and I'm going to do the center neck. And same thing, picking some up. We have a lot there. Tapping some off into the cap. Oh, the, the cheek. Everywhere. 
really press it in, okay? This stuff makes all your fine lines go away. It's amazing. I, I will never use another powder ever again. I'm not even kidding. So now that our face is set, we're going to go ahead and go in with our bronzer, the Morphe bronzer. It's massive. It's huge. Nice big size pan. I've had it for like a year now and I still haven't even hit pan. It is in the shade Icon. They have three different shades. I actually don't know if they still have this bronzer or not. It, they had a sale around Christmas too and I bought like four of them so I never run out. And I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. It's the JH04. And I'm going to show you it's kind of, sorry, I've been using it every every day. It's tapered. Now I get a lot of questions. Where do you put your bronzer? I have a super round face. Okay. I'm like a bowling ball, the two eyes, the mouth. It's ridiculous. I'm a basketball head. Okay. So I want to make my face close in more. If you want to keep your face opened, I use a rule where I don't bring the bronzer to, to two fingers by the nose. I, I will stop the bronzer right before that point because I don't want it to be like, but if you have a smaller, skinnier face, you're going to need to adjust that area based on your bone structure. So what I'm going to do is I kind of move my hair out of the way and I see my cheekbone here. If you can't see your cheekbone, suck your cheeks in. It allows you to find it right like that. That's going to be the line that normal people follow. I change it a bit and I angle it upwards like this because I have a lot of area here and I don't want to drag. I don't want to have bronzer down here. I want it to be up here to give that illusion that my face is a little bit smaller on the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and dip in and I don't use swiping motions. I stipple it on. After I have it placed, then I will go ahead and blend with little swiping motions. And I blend up, not down, because this can really go really far down and we do not want that. So if anything, I blend upwards just to kind of get some more control over the area. Next, I'm also gonna stipple some on my temple. And it's almost like a three. So like you take it like this on your face. Okay. After I have the cheeks done, I'm going to go ahead and start on the forehead. And you can see that I left this area open. So the face looks so much brighter in that area. And I'm going to just stipple right on the top, right back and forth. And then I stipple right on the side, right above the brow area here about halfway, like your eye, cut your eye in half and go up. Same thing, now that I have it placed, I'm gonna blend it. And I do push it into the hairline once again, because you don't want that line of like nothing here. You want it, everything to look like it's, you know, connected. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the chin. And down here, I don't go crazy down here because I don't want that like ugly line. Okay, next we're gonna do the nose. I have a huge schnauzer. I need to just, just, you know, just a little pinch. But I do not use cream contour or anything like that. If you're gonna be doing cream contour, you should not set your face with powder. You have to do all your cream products together, and then all your powder products together. But we're, we're doing powder, okay? Cream is just, it's a little aggressive. Not gonna lie. So I'm taking an eyeshadow brush. It's the Morphe M504. Looks like this. It's like a fluffy, tapered, fluffy blending brush. But this is my contour for my nose. Just dip in, not a lot, I'm not swirling. I'm just, you know? And I'm gonna rock this on the sides of the nose and follow it up to this part of my brow because that's the natural curvature of my, my nose. And I notice if I hold the brush up here, I like tend to like get too aggressive. Or if I hold the brush down more, it's like a lighter way of doing it. Now that I have that on the sides, I'm gonna do the, I go back and forth literally on the tip of my nose, up and down, back and forth, just to kind of give the illusion that my nose is a little bit smaller than what it is. And then sometimes, not all the time, I go right across the bridge just to give that little opening of lightness for the highlight. 
So now that I have that on the side, it looks like a little crazy because it's like orange and then we didn't have any bronzer here. So I wanna blend that out. So what I'm doing is I'm going back in with that tapered brush that we used at first to set the under eye, the Morphe M438. I'm just picking up a little bit of powder, tap off the excess, and I just use this to blend out those sides. Like anywhere that I think might have gotten carried away, like a little too orangey for me, I'm gonna be putting on the sides and just kind of really blending that area. So this is what we're looking like so far after the bronzer. And now we're gonna go in and put some blush on. I have been using, I don't even know if they still have this out. It's by the Benefit Cosmetics, the Cheekathon palette. Looks like this. I'm gonna be taking a combination of this shade and this shade. And I'm using the same bronzer brush that we use by Jaclyn Hill, the JH04, but I have a different one just for blush. And now this, same thing, I'm not going in that area. I'm still keeping those two fingers here. So I'm gonna be blending it in right here on the apple of my cheek with the bronzer and marrying them, okay? They're, get, they're getting married today. Stippling. Gosh, I feel like the Joker when I talk like this. I am too Joker. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. I should never make that face again. Holy crap. Oh. And now blending. Okay, so now we have our blush on. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the brows on. I also got some questions about my brows. Okay. I am terrible at doing brows and I actually am going to film a video where I try out pomade. I use pencil and I, I use a pencil that is $1.99 at Ulta, at Meyer, um, both places. It's the only places I really get it from. It's $1.99, it's by the brand Essence and I'm using the shade Blonde, number four. The pencil obviously was much bigger than this, but I've been using it. Gosh, I think I've gone through like 80 of these. I'm not even kidding. Um, forget this. I don't even use that. That's a waste of my time. But this is what the pencil looks like. It's just your average pencil. I have a sharpener. Then go ahead and sharpen it. Now, I suck at doing brows, okay? They look like blocks and they're, they never match. I don't know. I don't have like those beautiful fading brows, everything like that. I need to watch eyebrow videos and get the, get a hang of it, because, but I just, I just don't care. I just don't care. Honestly, if it were up to me, I wish brows were never even a thing. They're so time consuming and just, gosh, nothing makes you mad like a brow that doesn't match. It just, and then you keep trying to make it match and then next thing you know, you're just like, yeah, you'll look like a Sharpie. It's ridiculous, okay? I hate brows. <sighs> Vent over. So I'm just taking a regular spoo spoolie, spoolie, spoolie. I don't even know, there's nothing on here. I don't know where I got this from, but it's just a spoolie, okay? Grab my mirror. I'm gonna brush them all up in the right direction. Now I will say, when I have some that are too long, I cut them, I do. I use scissors, I got these like little tiny scissors and I just chop at them, okay? Probably not the best thing to do, but whatever. Okay, so they're nice and brushed. I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna start out by drawing a line on the bottom. And I go about halfway right to where the arch is and then I stop. Next, I'm gonna switch over to the top and I'm gonna do the line on the top. And I did not start this line at the end here. I went in just a little bit, like just a bit, like a hair right here is where I started the line. Cause I don't want, they're already blocky enough. We don't really need to draw a rectangle, you know? All right. So now I'm going to follow the tail, which normally I think people draw this line and then they come down, but I don't know how to do that. I'll, I'll figure it out. That'll prop, that's another video. So I go right in the center and I literally draw over the hair that's already there. And I do extend it just a little bit because, you know, they're kind of short. And then I fill in these areas at the top that like didn't get any. 
and that's about it. Next, I'm gonna take it, I'm taking the pointed side, I'm like rotating it, because the side got dull, and I go right to the front here, and I draw a line up, and when I fill in the front, I just keep drawing lines up, upwards, because that's the direction of the hair, and then I kind of just go over it over here and make sure that I got it all. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Do you see what on earth I'm talking about? So now that they're on, I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm just going to blend them out because they look like super, super harsh. And so I just rock it like back and forth in areas just so that it's, I don't know, not as harsh. All right. That's pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna take a product that's gonna glue them down to my face. I always like joke around, if anybody knows me, I always am pulling at my brow hairs, saying that they're crunchy. Oh <sighs> yeah. I use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Looks like this. I think it's like $8, just a spoolie. And I just brush them up like I did with the spoolie when there was nothing on there. So now that we have the brows on, I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlighter on. For this, I'm gonna be using today, sorry, it's a little dirty, the Jaclyn Hill, the Flash Palette. I know that this was like her holiday collection. I'm obsessed with it. You could tell how like dirty it is. I use it all the time. Um, she also has one called the Flare for like darker skin tones. They're, they're all beautiful. They're just beautiful. Um, I'm going to be using a highlighting brush by Morphe, the M510. Looks like this. And I'm just going to really like dip into all of them, honestly. And I'm going to go right in on the side. And I put it right on the, the, tip, the, the tip of the cheekbone. So find your cheekbone where it ends and starts going into your eye socket. And you're going to want to go right in the center right there. So pretty. And then I do right underneath the eyebrow, like very careful, because I don't want it to get it on the actual eyebrow hairs themselves. Just, and then I bring it all the way out, kind of like a C. Um, I'm also gonna do the tip of the nose, and I did not dip in and get any extra. There's still enough left on here. And I run it on the bridge, on the tip, and I'm picking up just a little bit and tapping off the excess. And then I do it right here, like little devil horns almost. Because these are the places that the sun is going to hit the most. And it's just going to make your skin look so awake, you know. And then I do my Cupid's bow. All right, guys. That's literally it. That's how I do my base. I'm not going to put my lipstick on or anything like that. Because I am getting ready to do my eyeshadow next. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, this is what I start out with. So my base definitely gives me confidence. I've hidden all of the little blood vessels and everything that pop out in my face. And I just feel like the face looks more awake. And I'm like, yes, I'm ready to do my eyeshadow. Okay. But that's my base. I hope that this was really helpful for some of you. Um, like I said, I got so many requests to really talk about the products that I'm using, go over the brushes that I'm using. Um, and I will list all the products in the description bar down below. Stay tuned for the next video. That's going to be the eyeshadow to this look. Um, and if you guys are not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to go over or any certain looks in particular that you guys want to see. Um, are you more interested in tutorials or do you want me to do more get ready with me story time type of things? I'm really, I'm really interested in what you guys are looking for from my channel. I love makeup. So, you know, I really want to give you guys the content that you guys want to watch. Either way, it's fun for me. I just really like filming and playing with makeup. So thank you for joining me for today's video and I hope it helped. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.